everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new around here, hi, I'm Mackenzie. Today's video, we are doing something that I truly never thought I would do, and that is a Notion tour. So if you don't know what Notion is, it's basically a platform for productivity, for creativity, just to organize and structure your day, your week, your month, your year, your life, even, I guess. I've always watched Notion tours on YouTube, and I thought it was the perfect tool for me to kind of maximize all that I wanted to do. However, it is very customizable and very kind of confusing honestly at first. So I've been using Notion for a couple of days now. I created my Notion and I feel like I kind of got the hang of it a little bit. I just spent a couple hours a day just playing around with it, kind of watching YouTube videos, watching tutorials, looking up things I wanted to do, and I'm very happy with how it all came together. So let's go ahead and walk through my beginner's Notion tour. I'm so excited to show you guys. All right, so I have moved to the little corner down here, but this is my Notion dashboard. So this is when you log on what you see. I absolutely love it, guys. I made this little cover banner on Canva. Just nice little renaissance-y, bright colors, happy. I love the way it looks. And then I just have its Max dashboard because it's mine. And then a little thing that just says Happy January. I didn't really know what to put here, but I like having just like a little something to kind of separate from everything else. And this is a really great part on this side. I love this feature. It is this week's task. So I kind of didn't want to have it as a daily task page. I didn't want to have to come on here and update it every day because I knew I would not keep track of that. So having the weekly task, I think it's gonna be so great. I've already loved using it. So today is Thursday, for example, and I didn't get to updating my nursing license. So the best part, I can just drag it down to Thursday and work on it today and that is amazing. And when I finish something, I can just check the box and it kind of hides it for me a little bit. So, love this. I love having the weekly setup. I think it's gonna help me so much. Let's move on to the big part of the page, which is the calendar. Now this calendar is strictly just my work schedule and anything really big that I have coming up. I wanted to have this here as a way to reference if I'm trying to make an appointment or just kind of schedule anything. I still use Google calendars, but that's mainly for like time blocking my day and this is a very general over review of where I'm gonna be during the week basically so I have two different jobs my nursing job and then my office job and then I just have like I have an exam coming up that I need to take for my office job so that's tomorrow so just very general I can like kind of go through the months and see what I have coming up and I love having this on the dashboard I think it's perfect just over here underneath the weekly task I have like my links to the other pages now this is good if you want to just like click in I sometimes use like the sidebar over here more than the links but if you have the sidebar hidden that's a great way to get to everything Thing. So let's go to one of my favorite pages, which is my 2024 goals page. I love the way this looks. So the cover photo here is my 2024 vision board. Obviously the whole thing doesn't fit, but you can kind of like reposition it up here and see whatever. Oh, not that. You can kind of reposition it and see whatever you want to see. So if I want to see that part, I can do that, but I really like the bottom of it. So I'm going to leave that there. And then this is my 2024 goal tracker. So I have a little quote on this side that just says, Focus on the first step, not the whole staircase, to remind myself not to just try to accomplish the goal. You gotta work your way there. I love having just like a nice little inspirational quote for goals. And then this is the best part, my little board here of the yearly goals. So I have these goals kind of separated like I did in the 2024 Plan With Me video that I talked about. But I love having like the little check boxes here. Once I do something, if it's a yearly goal that can be checked off, like complete a 5K, I can have a little check and kind of see all that I'm doing and progressing towards. Some of the goals are obviously stuff that I'll just have to reflect on at the end of the year. But I think it's so fun and it's really easy to add new yearly goals to. Like I didn't talk about this one in my plan with me, but I added it. It's my $2,000 extra towards my student loans. So it's really easy to add stuff and I love the, like the look, being able to visually see it here. It's so great. I love it so much. And then this is what I'm really excited about. When I was making my yearly goals, I have felt so motivated since then and I wanna start doing monthly goals and monthly plan with me's with you guys. So this is where I'm gonna do that. So as you can see here, I just have January I haven't started the January one yet because I was so focused on the yearly goals, but this will essentially, this cover photo, be the vision board for the month, which I'm really happy with. And when you click into it, you have like your goal setting, any upcoming things this month. I'm gonna put birthdays here, just like any little events. I really like this because I have this like kind of toggled, so if I don't want to look at all the goals on the page, I can do that. It's just so customizable, guys, and it's great. And then when February comes, I'll do a new month. I gotta work on January 1st, but I love the way this turns out. It just looks so good, so aesthetically pleasing and really simple and basic, which is exactly what I was going for. All right, so let's move to the next page, which is another one of my favorite pages. I'm probably gonna say that about everyone, so just ignore me. But it is my YouTube video idea page. 
I absolutely love how this has turned out. For every page, I didn't want a collage at the top, so this is just like a pretty picture, like a stock image that I found, and I love it. I love the colors. This is my YouTube page, so I think this is gonna be a game changer as far as YouTube planning and content creation goes. You can see me smiling. I'm just so excited about it. So first thing I wanna show you guys, I hate that my face is here. I wish I could change that. However, this is a link that will take you directly to my channel when you click on it. And I love that because if I'm going to reference any videos or anything, I need a link to my channel and it just makes it so easy to do. Going back to the page though, I want to start with this huge table that obviously is the center of the page. It is my video brainstorm page. I have like all the kind of video ideas I have upcoming, what month they're going to be, any to-do list that I have. So like for this video, I needed to film it and finish the pages. And then I'm going to have the description here. I might hide this tab and I'll show you that in a second but I, oh, this is so good. And then here is like my links thing. I always have to link things in the description for the videos, but I always forget when I'm, when I'm saying I'm gonna link, so I have that here. And then this is like the status of what I'm doing. So obviously right now it's not filmed, it's filming, but still. And then if you click into the title, you can see a little bit more. So I have my post date here, which I'll show you why I have that. And then I can hide the description here, which is what I might do so it's not as many words. And then this is where I'm gonna do like my tags for the video. This was part of my 2024 YouTube goals to pre-prep my content and kind of make it easier for me when it comes time to upload the video. And then any thumbnail inspiration. I see a lot of like thumbnail inspiration on YouTube, on Pinterest, things that I wanna do or pictures I wanna recreate. So I wanna save those here so I don't forget them because I always do. I love this guys. You can add so many more things if I want to like kind of write about things I need to buy for the video or anything. So the reason I have the post date here is because on this tab, look at this, I have my posting calendar where I can essentially show what videos are going up when if I need another video for a week I can kind of pull from the videos that I have here that is like my undecided month so I just think this is gonna be so great and then moving on underneath my little link over here I just have some inspiration ideas these are very like little simple pages that I have here and if you click into it so this is like my editing inspiration sometimes I'll see something and I'm like wow I really like the way that looks or it's very visually pleasing I want to do something similar in the videos and this is where I can do that so this one is just experiment with different text fonts I love the way this kind of like font looked on the video so just kind of remembering these things is what I want to do and then going back I think I have new video story ideas so when I post for you guys I need to change this to the middle of the page there we go so when I post on my story that I have a new video upload I wanted to kind of have some cute little things that I've seen from Pinterest again so just little things to kind of help me brainstorm and be more creative with my content I'm so excited to have I absolutely love this. This is probably my favorite page, I'm gonna be honest. So now let's move on to the next page, which is my income tracker. Now, I don't have this like officially put in. I just put in a number that is not how much I made for my first paycheck, but I wanted you guys to see kind of how I'm doing this. So this is for January. It automatically opens to the month that I'm in. I have it set like that. Don't ask me how I did it. I watched so many YouTube videos, but I can put in all my different income streams and it'll calculate it. This is really great, especially since I have two different jobs and I'm doing YouTube. YouTube to kind of keep up with everything and then here I'm still figuring this out this is just part of notion I wanted to have the year to date from all the different months I have to figure out how to do that I know there is a way to do it because I've seen it in a YouTube video I just have to kind of research it and do a little more but that's the great thing about notion it doesn't all have to be done right away so I love this this is a very simple page because I wanted it very simple I wanted it to be basic quick to fill in and we don't have expenses on here we're only doing income because we're being positive so that's my income tracker okay next we have my 20 24 travel plans i love this page just a nice general stock photo for the cover but it just says be where your feet are which is so important when you're traveling and then this is my little travel to-do list it's just what i have upcoming for the trips even though these trips are kind of spread apart there's things that need to be done earlier for some trips or like closer for some so this is just my little quick to-do list i love having the visual of what trips are coming up I'm like seeing a picture of them these are like stock photos from notion that they have built in so the fact that they have disneyland and disney world in Cabo I mean perfect this is my first trip I have coming up in Cabo these are filtered to be in order too so which is great and I just have that it's in Mexico we're going in March and then when you click into it you can see a lot more so obviously here I would have my trip dates and then this is the status I can mark it like completed and that way it'll kind of hide from this main screen and I can go in and see my completed trips later but I just have like upcoming tasks which to confirm flights I've already booked them I just need to make sure what time and everything and then I have 
have a little to buy section because I think that's important. We're going to a wedding in Cabo. I need to get like a wedding beach guest dress and they're having an all white party. Things like that. It's going to be great to keep up with. Let's click into my Disneyland one. For this one, I have something extra. I have my foodie bucket list. Like that's so fun to have like a place where I can keep track of all the places I want to eat. I used to make like a notes app and they would be scattered about different places, things I needed to buy, foods I wanted to eat, things I needed to do. And then I think it's going to be great too for other trips to kind of like plan places to eat or after the trip I can put in like where we ate, what we thought of it. And then when the trip's completed, it'll go here to my past trip so I can like reference back if we go back there or I need to give someone a recommendation. I love this. And then this is just a little widget that I got from a widget site that I will link down below. It just has the trip countdown so I can see exactly how many days until the next vacation. Okay, let's move on to the next one which is my book tracker. Now this is going to be surprising to some of you but I'm on the book trend in 2024 so this is my book tracker. I wanted it to be simple but also visual. It's very similar to the travel planner. I love the way it looks. So these are just the books that I am reading or have read. So you can see down here there's like a little progress bar and I'll show you how I did that. But it just has the cover photo, the title of the book, the author, kind of what I gave it out of four stars. You can click into it and see a little bit more. I have the genre, the pages. So this is how you do the progress bar. You put in the total number of pages and like what page you're on. And then I have some thoughts here. I just love this. I think it's going to be such a great way to keep track of all the books I've read and what I thought about them. And then this tab up here, I have like reading. So if it's in progress, it'll be here to be read. Any books I like kind of want to read. And then the red books are here. Over on the sidebar, I just have some 2024 reading goals. I didn't put these in my yearly goals just because reading is something that I'm just kind of starting to do. I mean, I read two books in the first 10 days of the year because I went on a spree with my Kindle. But I have read 12 books within the year. I think that's going to be very doable. I already have two down. And then I want to read two more of the Harry Potter books because I've already read two. And this is a widget from that same place. It's a little counter. So when I add a book, I can just increase it there. I'll never like unread a book. But if I accidentally hit it too many times, I can bring it back down. That's my book tracker. I love this page. I think it's going to really motivate me to read a little bit more because I'm going to be excited to like put the book in here. I don't know. That's just how I operate. So yeah, that is my Notion tour. Very beginner, very basic. Like I said I've only spent a couple days on it and I know the notion will evolve and grow and get more complex as I get more comfortable with it but I really like the simple kind of aesthetically pleasing look of it that I have so far if you're wanting to make a notion just remember it's gonna take time to play around with it the more time I spend on it the more I was like oh I'm getting good at this like I can do this I'm gonna figure out a way to make this table and stuff like that so you're gonna get a little frustrated during it too but in the end it is so worth it because it is exactly what I want for my productivity and that's the best part about notion you can custom Customize it to be whatever you want it to be. Love the way it turned out. I'm so happy I got to share it with you guys. I know it's something very different, but it's so fun. And it's really going to be the way that I'm structuring and organizing my life these days. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe down below so you don't miss the next one. And I can't wait to see you guys real soon. Bye.